this is the field portion of our training today and so what we have is our, our students are uh, assessing physical, chemical, and biological soil health indicators on a soil health practice field uh, versus one that's more conventionally managed and so what they'll do is they'll run through those assessments, go through uh, not only what they are but how to measure them and why we're measuring them and what those measurements ultimately mean and then compare them between the two systems. I think it's really to help build confidence with our technical staff and our conservation planners to help them articulate the benefits of soil health practices on improved soil function. I think if we can um, help improve people's knowledge and understanding of how it is that these practices impact soil function um, and ultimately how to incorporate these assessments into the conservation planning process uh, so that they can show the producers in real time uh, the benefits. I think that ultimately mean we'll see more of these practices on the ground across the state. We couldn't do this without the partnership so today we've got um, uh, folks from Bowser and the technical training team. Uh, we've got uh, trainers from the National Soil Health Division. Uh, we've got our, our state and area technical staff, um, soil scientists, agronomists, uh, area resource conservationists, grazing specialists, resource soil scientists, uh, all of the folks that are intimately involved with uh, helping to educate um, our technical staff on, on, on soil health practices in the state.